what's going on bowman 1951 here it is a gorgeous day here in my urban jungle we're starting the day off with a few errands gonna head out to a card show like no other at fenway park early this afternoon taking the family down we're gonna go see all of our vendors that i know so well and love we're gonna see all the corporate booths that are there all the wonderful slabs, some singles boxes, whatever is gonna be in store. I can't believe we're going to a card show inside Fenway Park. Now there was one there last year, but it was in like a function room. This time we're walking the concourse where all like the, the vendors usually are with food and drinks and so forth. So let's head on down. I got about a 25 minute ride into the city with traffic. We'll see you there on the flip side in Fenway, Boston, Massachusetts. <music> Whether it was a good or bad idea, I packed up my entire family, two kids and a wife, got the stroller out, and we are off to Fenway Park. It had been so long since I'd last filmed a card show. I think it was in August of 22 that I just had to get back out. I had such a great experience from the first show. I knew this was gonna be expanded and just a very special venue, of course capture some of the beauty off the Esplanade and Starro Drive. We're heading in on a Sunday because not only are the meters free, but the weather was so much nicer on day two of the show. But because I've got the family with me, we had to stop off for some lunch at Blaze Pizza right on Boylston Street outside of Fenway Park. The kids love their pizza, of course, and we love Blaze. LeBron excluded. Time to work off some of that pizza and head over to one of my favorite areas of the entire city of Boston. Before we head into the show, we want to go check out the pro shop first. be a pro shop without some cards inside, right? Look at that. Tops now. Yoshida. There's all the packs. Ooh, hangers for $30. A little overpriced. Red Sox kitchen needs. Up here in front of us, it's the wall of Wally's. A little upset, I found this glove. We got Mike Trout on it. What's up with that? Red Sox, Mike Trout. Something's wrong here. Still in the pro shop for the Red Sox. Got some cards. Nice ones in there. There's just cards hidden everywhere. Obviously some sign balls. Although I would say this Jeter is out of place and also very expensive. And one more wall of cards. Bowman Blasters. There's a price on those. Bruins cards. You probably didn't come here to watch me stuff my face full of pizza to go into the Red Sox team store. Oh no, we're taking that short walk right across the street and get our first look at the Fenway Card Show. Let's go. So the entrance was over by Ipswich Street at Gate B. Getting a quick look at the crowd sitting around over by the food stalls that they had open. We're gonna take a quick look over at the Card Vault guys who put on this incredible show. Love the stickers they had on some of the cases. I think all the dealers had them on. And here is our first look at all of the signers that were in place on Sunday. 
Now let's provide a little real world ambiance of the show itself. Probably my favorite shot of the show is right here. I put it on a little slow-mo for you, pan around. This is just an excellent view of both wings of all of the tables. And you'll see up here in the right, those stairs slash ramp look awfully inviting. Let's go take a look at this incredible view and access we had to the field. Anybody notice something special in this shot here? That's right. There are World Series trophies down in the lower right. I didn't even realize this until I was putting together the footage after the fact. And now, back to the cards. Got a little taste of the cards. Now we're gonna head on over to the grading section. First up, we've got Card Vault. My local boys, I drop off all my PSA subs to EC3 convention happening at Mohegan Sun all throughout 2023. Then we've got the SGC table. Looks like they're offering a slight discount here at the show. Golden booth. I was a little late to the show here. So unfortunately they were breaking down their booth as I arrived. And this next one is just crazy. PSA was there with their own wall set up and security cameras on the back there you might notice. This one caught my eye because Taylor Swift is holding a three-day show at Gillette Stadium nearby the same weekend. If you're saying to yourself it doesn't look that busy, keep in mind I filmed this around 4 p.m. on the second day of the show, so it was just about to end, and it was a massive space, so people were spread out all throughout. We also have a bit more to see, so let's explain where we're headed next. Been down at the first concourse for a bit, so the half, first half is behind me, and now we're gonna head on down to the second half this way. A lot of my dealers are down that way. We'll go chat with a few of them. But LeBron looks out of place. <laughs> He's an odd ball. It's very true. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's funny because like this is what we always tell people is to check out uh, I'm not a sneakerhead like at all, but I figured somebody watching this would appreciate these. Another Fenway card show in the books. I'm speechless. I'm in Fenway Park, walking around the concourse, looking at cardboard. My two favorite things in the entire world. Hope you guys enjoyed all the footage. Let's give you one final look at what I'm seeing behind me here. We'll change the view a little bit. Bowman 1951 out.